Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Sorry, internet problems. Sorry. Yeah, we understand. Sorry, Hello. sorry. Good morning to everyone. Okay, good morning, good morning. Um, I'll tell in advance the story, but I, I should have my video off today because uh, I'm on my way and uh, I can't no just problem. manage. Thanks. No, it's okay. Sorry, Laura, good morning. No problem. I, I was afraid maybe I was on the wrong link or something. <laughs> no, I... <laughs> Email in the morning and then my Zoom was that failed. I don't know why, but nothing opened. No problem. Now we're here, so we'll wait for other people to join. Yes. So, have you thought about uh, the idea behind your video? <laughs> um, if I may, I will. I will start. Um, I um, have an idea, uh, but I still need something to appear. But as I have already made one video, I thought maybe uh, I could share this the video that I have already made, and you can uh, you could uh, let's say uh, yeah uh, share tips yeah what could have been done better and uh, as i am a teacher and that video was designed you know to help my learners an introductory video just like elena yesterday said that yeah. to advertise ourselves or our course so that was an introductory video in which i tried to um uh, let's say um, arouse my learners curiosity and want them to learn the subject matter of phonetics and the, uh, as uh, in your papers, uh, uh, in the materials uh, you send us, it is important to know who your target audience is. Yeah. I took into consideration that these are the first year students and as a result, I need to speak in a certain way. So I tried somehow to follow um, um, when I made that video. It was, I think, two years even ago, not last year. Okay, okay. So, and you and edit it. You edit it uh, yourself, or did you yeah. have some help from other? No, books? no, no. And so I'm a self-taught person, but uh, really? I didn't have the Adobe. What I used was the Movie Maker. Okay. Yes, it's so it's simpler, but uh, yeah, you cannot do elaborate many things i know so you'll yeah. see what i managed and they have actually two videos one with a bit of music in the background and the other with no music and i will just show the one with the with the music so that okay um, great mm. yes how how can i see it uh, maybe you can share it um, on the platform or i don't, I don't know, know. On the platform, it's. I'm not sure we can share it. We need. Do you to... have a link or something? Um, I, I can. I uh, I have it on YouTube as well. Yes, it's better to send me a link, not a file. Yeah, so I can I will... watch it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. So I'll I'll do it right away. Yes. Uh, but this uh, one, which I posted on YouTube, doesn't have uh, music behind. Just yes. my voice. So yes, because see. of the copyright, right? <laughs> no, no, no. The music, the, the oh, one okay. that I was looking for, I looked, you know, on the internet, they also offer the possibility uh, to have music, um, let's say, which is free of charge. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. But I thought that maybe um, for the first year uh -huh. students, it would not be, let's say, uh, uh, that yes, so important with music. Mm -hmm. the, uh, okay. So the idea is that they should listen to, uh, to my... Uh, to what I'm saying. So this is the link. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will copy it to have it. Um, I don't know if we should watch it now or maybe I'll watch it afterwards and uh, tell you my feedback on the next. I'm not yeah. afraid of criticism. If everybody wants to criticize, let the... <laughs> so the way you, you choose, uh -huh. it's okay, okay. with me. Um, Raluca, I want to ask you something if you're here. So <laughs> somebody wants to watch it. Yes, please. Yes, yes, yes. I wanted to tell you um, if I'll get today or I don't know, maybe tomorrow access to this platform. So 
I have also the contacts of the participants and maybe keep in touch with them, give them feedback, write them or? Yes, of course. I will, uh, I will give you today the um, Great. user and the, um, login, the, the login access for the platform. Mm -hmm. Yes, so Viorica, maybe uh, I'll watch it and then I will write you there. Is it okay but for the you? problem is there is a problem with the platform i really don't know okay. how it functions because uh, um it was uh, andrea who also sent feedback to us to all of our videos short videos that we made but we didn't receive any feedback we didn't receive her comments so we, we can't read them and i don't know why hmm. okay so look so a participant uh, pro uh, suggests so that we watch it now so if you if you agree with it we can watch it now uh, should i share the screen or should you maybe share the screen viorica because and then i will share the one with the music yes that i have course. on my computer mm -hmm. okay sure it's better like this and then we'll discuss what's good and what could be better. Okay. I won't say what's wrong, right? It's never wrong. It can be improved. <laughs> so I'm yeah. sure it's very interesting. There so is I'm always curious. room. There is always room for improvement. I this is yes. my motto. Even for us uh, people who work in this field for so many years, it's always something that you can do better. So please. Uh, I think you should share also your audio because we don't hear anything. So maybe this little window that appears with share computer audio. But I, I have know. shared it from the very start. I, I don't hear anything. So maybe the other participants. No, no, think. I don't hear too. Mm -hmm. Maybe the volume is uh, cut out or now here in the screen. Let's check. The volume. Yeah, now we hear. We hear, but a uh, little. Uh, okay, uh, this is the maximum of the volume. So uh, let us try again. If not, I don't know. Let's see. Excuse me, Viorica. Yes. yes. Uh, I think you have to um, uh, to tick. There is a there is a place where you can uh, tick. It is on the left side of the video when you start when you are sharing your video. It should be on the left side it, at the bottom. Please uh, pay attention to that. There is a sign share with sound when you are sharing. Yes, share with, uh, you can, You should um, stop sharing and then try again and it will appear something. Uh, where you tell me now that. if it's okay. Now tell me. English. I yes. do know yes. that. Now it's okay. okay, great. So let's see it from the beginning, please. Uh, okay, go ahead. Thank you for, for your tip. Welcome. Hello and welcome. I am Viorica Kondrat and I have designed this course to scaffold your efforts in uh, improving your pronunciation in English. I do know that speaking in a foreign language can be quite challenging, particularly if your pronunciation impedes the overall understanding of the message you are trying to convey. Theorizing too much about the English sound system as well as about its prosody might not be of great help. This is why the course is intended to offer practical advice on how to increase your intelligibility in English and thus become a more fluent and confident speaker in the English language. But first, I'd like to show you a video. While watching it, would you please reflect on the teacher's strategy of correcting her student's pronunciation? What do you think of it?
Is it successful? My name is Anton. Every morning I usually get up at 7 o'clock and brush my teeth. Then I have breakfast and go to school by bus. Then... Galkin. Ты старательный мальчик, Галкин. Старательный, и я ценю твое усердие, но произношение... Ужас! Тебе ж ни один англичанин не поймет. Нужно говорить так, как будто во рту у тебя горячая картошка. Горячая. Hot. Hot. Да нет же. Hot. Hot? <свят> тренируйся, Галкин, тренируйся. Может быть, что-нибудь и получится. Садись. <свят> to the kitchen and cooked hot potato. О, готово. Ммм, горячая картошечка. Very hot potato. Ой, ай, фу, What's happened, Galkin? Good morning, Larisa Viktorovna. I'm sorry. I'm late. The traffic is terrible. Galkin? Какое произношение? Молодец. Но ведь можешь, если захочешь. Садись. А вы, ребята, берите пример с Галкина. Как у тебя получилось такое произношение? Супер. Да к фёрту это произношение! К фёрту это английский! Чего? Меня за дома никто не понимает. И доктор сказал, что ещё два месяца так будет. Горячая картошка! Don't expect me to ask you to put a hot potato in your mouth in order to sound more English-like. Frankly speaking, I don't think this can help you in any way. Uh, actually, it can harm you. Uh, instead, raising your awareness of how to articulate sounds in English, uh, as well as of the basic positive rules, might help you increase your intelligibility. Uh, but that would be just the first step you'll take to success. You'll have to do a lot of practice. I will do my best to explain how to articulate sounds in English, uh, what the stress and intonation patterns are appropriate in English. Yet, in order to achieve the set objectives, you'll have to practice a lot. Each lesson is uh, designed to first activate your prior knowledge on the given topic. Then the topic is introduced in an interactive way. Be ready to reflect on it and definitely practice. Uh, I'd like to encourage you to accept the challenges I'll make. Uh, actually, I will accept them together with you. You shall see. Uh, the following topics are going to be covered in this course. Uh, basic notions in phonetics, uh, peculiarities of the English vowel sounds, peculiarities of the English consonant sounds, uh, word and sentence stress in English, uh, characteristics of English intonation, uh, some aspects of connected speech, in English. And finally, some basic rules related to pronunciation and spelling also in English. Keep in mind that hard work brings its own reward. So work hard, that is practice a lot, and you are bound to succeed. Congratulations, Viorica. Very, very nice. You, you made my day. <laughs> I laughed and I really enjoyed it. 
Uh, yeah, it's nice because you started with yourself as a teacher. So you prepared the context of a lesson and something serious, but then you switch to something funny and yeah. you made all these annoying vowels and pronoun. Yeah, you no, know, it's a hard topic for, for a beginner in, a, in something funny. So it's really, really great uh, regarding script there and um, casting, the choosing of the actors and uh, the funny moment where you see him from the profile and then the flame comes out from the hot potato. So there are really, really nice things there, like a short movie. I mean, these things with the, with the school and with the pupils, it, it can work as but a that short is I just want to say that 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 I that is a piece of video that I took from uh, it. It wasn't me who made it. I ah, couldn't. Okay, I didn't know. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't know. But the idea that you I'm you not that good. your own video. Okay. Well, maybe after this course, you learn also to to create your own uh, short stories that are really funny and stuff. But I I think it was uh, it was nice to insert it there, and um, how you related to it and how you. I said, okay, well, it's it's not going to work with a hot potato, but you explain what you're going to teach them and stuff. What I suggest is maybe when, maybe, but everything is subjective in film. You know, there are some rules. This is very important for you all to understand. Of course, there are some rules in filmmaking, but the most interesting things come when you break the rules and when you, um, I don't know, when you have your own personal touch. This is why everything that I may tell you as an opinion can also be subjective, right? I mean, each film is done by you all in 10 different ways, 20 different ways. So maybe when you explain what you're going to learn, what you're going to teach them, maybe these things can appear also as a text in the image. Uh -huh. You know, so that people remember. Uh, this people. can be a good idea because, again, taking into account that the target audience are the first year students and their level of, uh, of language proficiency is not yeah. that, let's say, uh, high. So that, that is a good idea, I think. Yeah, yes, you know, you. because, uh, because um, well, it's a fact, it's a statistic that people remember things better if they also have this visual aid. So, okay, you tell them, they hear, but it visual and audio it's really i mean, I mean i'm sure you know this right visual yeah, is yeah. better than audio but combined visual and audio makes people remember the information better so it, it and it will also look nice you know if you have these uh, i don't know phonetics and vowels and whatever you you're gonna teach them sorry i'm i'm not familiar with with your content but it's very nice and what i would also add uh, you said these students already know you, or they will learn. No, this is, they are going just to uh, know me for the first time. Yes. Okay. Then what I would also do is at the end, like a little credit, your name, your email, mm -hmm, the description mm -hmm. of the course or the faculty, or mm, I don't know, some contact information, you know, at the end. Just so like in the movies. Mm -hmm. yeah so yeah. that people remember okay that's you and maybe also at the beginning the first frames the first seconds when you talk your name should come up right like at the news when something is written down mm -hmm. in the lower part of the screen uh, it helps people remember ah, okay this is the teacher Viorica and mm -hmm. okay um Yes, I think it. I think it's okay. I think it's very nice, and the idea to make it funny and also serious. I think definitely that the students will definitely enroll for your uh, class. <laughs> hey, thank you for your feedback. You're welcome. Okay, now that other participants also joined, maybe they want to share their ideas so that we can move for tomorrow to the next phase, meaning the script writing. Mm -hmm. Now I wanna hear a short version, a short idea of your video, and then you'll have to develop it uh, more. Mm -hmm. Please, yes. Laura, you, you mean, unfortunately, I don't have my name on the screen. My name is Victoria. 
Ah, and okay. I represent the Academy of Music, Theatre and Fine Arts from Kishinev, from Republic of Moldova. I am a musician, so unfortunately I don't have relations with multimedia department <laughs> and don't have any experience of uh, pro producing video. But uh, I have the same logic like Viorica uh, did, because uh, I decided, unfortunately, maybe it might be great to make a video with uh, travels or how I'm cooking something interesting. But uh, actually, my um, uh, important task now is uh, to elaborate uh, online courses and to use them in my activity. Because actually, for two years, I teach, I have a, a big torrents and I, I teach online. And of course, it's important to produce some uh, um, material who, which might be used uh, then sure. uh, and for LLL courses and for my regular students. And um, I started with the idea to make a self presentation actually. And uh, first of all, you know, we musicians are very sensitive. Uh, uh, concerning time, uh, uh, yes. you know, lens and so on. So for me uh, to present myself for 15 minutes, it's too much, I think. It maybe yes. five minutes, it's maximum. And um, of course, I decided to make a video when I am sitting somewhere. And I see that it's very common that besides is a bookshelf. So yes. maybe I, I have to change this ambience. That's what the first to create the interior design, which will be uh, attractive and not fashionable, but up to date, because our students uh, observe everything. It's important. Mm -hmm. Uh, another thing, I decided to give uh, small portions of information and to make some music breaks between them because it's uh, activate reaction yes. and it refresh uh, perception of the um, persons. And uh, if music is interesting and entertaining, it's really yes. good. Okay. I, I know it, you know, I, I felt it on my own skin. Um, other things, of course, I agree completely with you that it might be great to add uh, some short um, uh, titles time to time, which um, um, duplicate my speech. Because yes. very often it's, you know, we know that 85% of information go with uh, through eyes, not through ears, even yes. for musicians, okay? So it yes. might be great to add this, uh, this the title, subtitles, and uh, to make uh, accents on the most important uh, things. Uh, yes. Of course, I would like to add some music as well, but I don't know if you, the politics of YouTube is, um, you know, yes, it's a little uh, bit more complicated. It it's, yes, it, it depends but, on what music you'll use. Actually, it's more of a lottery because um, I, I said, I think in the last video that you see on the platform, I talked about social media and uh, YouTube mm -hmm. and uh, things like that. And I explained that there are different situations. The first one is the most extreme one when your video is completely blocked all over the world because of the music. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The other situation is with is when your video is blocked only in some countries and maybe it doesn't affect you. Mm -hmm. Some countries around the world where you already don't want to screen, don't want to show yeah. your video anyway. The other situation is where your video can works, but it's muted. This portion with the music, mm -hmm. this fragment is muted. And the other but thing is where you cannot make money from YouTube because you use that music, so you cannot monetize the video. And the softest one of all is, okay, you will use the music for which you didn't have copyright, but you can still have it online. And mm -hmm. okay, the, the most the ideal situation is where you use the music, but it doesn't it doesn't affect uh, affect you at all because YouTube doesn't consider it as a copyright violation. But so, yeah, YouTube is really, really severe to this. Uh, and also Facebook and Instagram mm -hmm. and TikTok, you cannot use everything that you find interesting music related to. Yeah. But okay, in this case, my question is, uh, uh, but maybe there is a rule if uh, that it's possible, if you use up to forty seconds of of uh, of the record, video record, or no? It recognizes also three mm -hmm. seconds if it's a very I popular see. piece of music. Yeah, it's really incredible. Yeah, uh, we, uh, actually, uh, we, it's good we, for the musicians, <laughs> but mm -hmm. uh, for for us, yeah, I understand for all kinds of production, uh, and. Um, 
Uh, actually, you know, for me as a model of this kind of uh, video content is uh, online courses posted on the uh, platform culturepartnership.eu. I, I don't okay. know how to share the screen. I don't have this. Uh, ah, uh, uh, just a moment. There were just the green button, share screen. No, no, no. Uh, uh, yes, green button, but when I make to share, it's it, it not, not active, you know. Okay, uh, uh, in this ca uh, case, uh, could you be so kind to, to wait uh, a couple of seconds? I will find it and, uh, and send yes. you sure. via chat, okay? Because I would like to show of, uh, and to, to know your opinion. Uh, is it good? Yes, of course. I'm looking forward to seeing, seeing it. Uh, another person raised the hand, I think Simeon, Simeon, or maybe I look, I don't know, or uh, Rina. There was a hand raised, but a couple of minutes ago. So every, uh, all of you want to do um, more like tutorials, lessons, educational videos, right? Okay, no problems. Or do you also want to do, I don't know, a different kind of video, let's say, maybe like a... I would like for the next time to try uh, advertising. To yes, advertise yes. a book. This is what I want to ask you. Maybe an, an ad for your lesson or for a product or for your services or something like that. Then you could you could really work on a script and make it more creative you know i mean i use your imagination and try something mm -hmm. different laura i sent you yes. via chat this link uh, culture yes. partnership you okay and this should is the beginning I... of the mm -hmm. uh -huh. just i uh, please, i should i could for a couple of seconds yes a couple of seconds just to see one moment how mm -hmm. it looks yes <gasps> okay, you'll see you see my uh, screen, right? Ah, it is in Russian, but it's in uh -huh, it's just this. My name is Agla Deltoveta and I am the head of Creative Europe Desk in Lithuania. Today we will talk about few topics, mainly how to build a strong partnership, what are the success factors in applying for Creative Europe program and what are the main requirements for the organizations to apply for the funding. Talking about the eligibility criteria, we can divide them into five main groups. Though the program Creative Europe is the program of European Union, the list of participating countries in the culture subprogram consists not only of the member states. We also have Iceland and Norway, together with the exceeding countries and potential candidates. Last but not least, countries covered by European neighborhood policy are also welcome to take part. Today, memorandums with the EU are signed by the Georgia, Moldova and Ukraine. So in total, we have 39 participating countries, not excluding the possibility for the other ones to be associated partners. Secondly, eligible uh, applicants. The project leader and the partners must be active in... Sorry? I, I, I think that maybe that's okay. enough because it's clear okay. and even now I observed some important things. Okay. First of all, I don't know, Verika, could you be so kind to help me how to translate in English общий план и крупный план? Или разные ракурсы? Just a second, I don't different know how to... Different angles, so the, she was no, no, shot no. from different angles. Uh, I, I, okay, I, I, I presume And something was in the special... foreground and something was in the background. Mm -hmm. This is what you meant. Yes, okay. So uh, I mean that different raccourses have, have been used, you know, different uh, angles uh, of shooting of this lady, which uh, helps sometimes. And uh, um, uh, the video has been alternated with the pictures, with using of very bright and interesting color, which also color is a signal to our brain. It's really great to wake up or to stimulate our brain. And um, 
uh, these ciphers or um, uh, some words, some important keywords uh, uh, demonstrated on the screen also is a good tool, a good trick, uh, something like that. And I suppose maybe in my lectures, of course, I will uh, uh, use uh, the navigation of different uh, web page in case if I need to, to demonstrate some content uh, to my students. But from the, for, from the beginning, what do you think? This form, this uh, uh, recipe is, is good. Uh, from my point of view, it's really good, uh, the, well done for, for, yes, for this type yes. of information. Yes, and you can see that it was shot with uh, two cameras. And uh, right. yeah, of course, mm -hmm. it should be um, more carefully edited because you you hear when it's cut from one camera to the other, but these are little technical things that I think only me as a professional sees them. Mm -hmm. But anyway, it's yeah, the thing is to make them better. But it's very nice that the text appears on the image so everyone can read the information. It's a nice introduction before the, the person starts speaking. Mm -hmm. Yes, so mm -hmm. I have these little things. It has a unitary visual style with this pink and the right. logo and the font looks really nice and modern. So it's good. It's good. And by, uh, by the way, a new question appears. Yes. For instance, if I do it like a soap opera, so I make a series of lessons, it okay. has to be done under the same branding. Am yes. I right or not? Yes. yes. So in the yes. same stylistic, with exactly. the same colors involved, and uh, uh, with the same manner of uh, shooting, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Because it, yes. it's my vision. Because I so that people logic. understand. Yeah. So that people understand that it's the same product or service mm -hmm. or topic, right. and uh, then you can organize them on YouTube in playlists. So the I don't know the mm -hmm. same topic of twenty videos or thirty videos or how many lessons you have. So that people can easily find it. And maybe, I don't know, in one year, you have on your YouTube channel a different series of uh, mm -hmm. new lessons with a new topic. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, so you, you should so think, uh, sorry, you should think at the uh, first at the visual style. Yes. Yeah? So if you mm -hmm. want to keep right. this with the color and the font and the graphics in the beginning, all the videos should be structured. Uh -huh. And fonts and it's as easy well, to right? do a template in the Premiere Pro on whatever software you're, you're gonna edit them, you can create a, a template and then every new footage that you insert and edit will have the beginnings and the fonts right. and the texts from the other. So it's really, really mm -hmm. good to have a template for this project. Mm -hmm. right. so, so actually this is the rule, some rules of branding. Yes, yes. Which yes. might be uh, applied here. Thank you so okay. much. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. You're welcome. And then when you'll upload it, um, maybe also on social media, not only on YouTube. Um, again, keep in mind what defines your product. Again, the same logos, the same colors, the same, maybe a motto. You have a motto for your, for your class, for your courses, mm -hmm. and then everything should be promoted under the same ideas, both textual mm -hmm. and visual. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'm uh, very happy to see that you already worked on, on a couple of ideas. It's no problem if others are really at the beginning. This is what it's all about with this module so that you'll all be able to start at some point your, your own videos. Will, sh will someone else share his or her ideas or maybe ask how to do it, how, how it's better to to make the videos, I don't know, Olga or... May I say something? Uh -huh. Yes, of course. Uh, yes, I've been, um, I uh, lately I haven't been thinking about any idea, so I, I cannot share my idea, my personal idea yet. But um, I've, lately I've been watching um, um, different series of uh, um, psychological, videos like a person was speaking a man was speaking and uh, about how to uh, bring up the children of different ages and uh, it was uh, the video is uh, in russian maybe i can share the video and just 
uh, you will see how he speaks. Yes. I liked his uh, way of speaking and I, I liked his artistic skills. And uh, also I noticed that while speaking, he were, uh, they were uh, some subtitles. Um, not all the subtitles were given, but only those parts uh, which yes. were very important yes. uh, in his speech. And I think that this is also a very a good trick uh, to pay uh, to gain the the audience's attention. Mm -hmm. I think this yes. is also yes. a very yes. very good mm -hmm. trick. Yes, if so, it's uh, you know the uh, as I said, it's good to have a visual aid and some keywords. But if it's too much, then again, people will stop looking at what's happening in the screen in the action and will only read. You know, if yeah. it's too much content, too much dialogue. So it's good to point out only key elements, only keywords, only, I don't know, main ideas. Mm -hmm. And then if they're, again, not too, too many effects can also ruin the, the concentration. If the text comes from all the, all the side is from left to right and moves and I don't know, in circles, then people will get distracted by it. So always, you know, I think now it's a good advice to always try to be objective to your own video. I know it's difficult. It's difficult for filmmakers to look at their film with the fresh eyes, but try to think as someone who looks at your video for the first time. Can this person understand what it's about? Can it uh, keep in mind the, the most important ideas that you want to, to send them? Uh, I don't know, can the information be, I don't know, fluent, uh, is the information fluent and, and so on. So this is an exercise that you should try to, to do with your videos when you look at them. Is it too much content? Is it, do you speak too fast? Um, is it too much text? Is it too long? Is it boring? Is it, mm -hmm. I don't know. You, you should really try to, to look at your video. It's difficult, again, I say, but as someone who sees it for the first time in the role of your students, maybe. Do the students understand? Is it too much for them? Too much information in a short amount of time? This exercise, I think, will help you to... I think we have to get used to being in front of a camera and yes. being screened. This is something that has to be uh, exercised many times because yes. for me, personally, it's really very difficult. I forget my words in front of a camera. When I prepare something, and then uh, I think that I, it will be okay. I can speak perfectly, but yes. I, I do not because I'm afraid of there is a fear. No, but I think camera. everything will, will work out for you and for all of you with practice. I mean, okay, you can be a natural talent that is really extrovert and you can talk, mm -hmm. but I'm neither. So I, I'm not, I, would, I would have been an actress. If I, but again, this is a misconception because not all the actors and uh, actresses are extrovert. There are a lot of them really talented who are introverted. But on stage, well, they embrace a character and they're someone else and that makes them be. Maybe you should also think that you're when, on, when in front of the camera, you're a little bit someone else, right? I mean, you're in the role of the teacher. You're not in the role of the mother, of a friend, of a daughter, of a, I don't know, grandmother, right? You're in the role of a teacher. So of course it's you, still you, but um, I think with practice and with exercise, it will be okay. And now we're forced to do everything online and on Zoom, so <laughs> we, we keep practicing. Yes. Yes, we have to try. <laughs> mm -hmm. So do you all want to work during these two weeks on um, a little lesson of yourself, on a little presentation? Viorica said she wants to try uh, more like an ad. Okay, maybe you already have in mind for what should this ad be? Or... For a um, study guide. So I would like to advertise a study guide uh, related on uh, culture. Um, so uh, my colleague and I, we have uh, elaborated a study guide uh, mm -hmm. to the American and British culture, and we would like to advertise the product that we have 
and uh, I'm thinking I should think of a script. <laughs> Actually, yes. I'm thinking what to do, yes. how to make it, you know, appealing. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe it would be challenging to to think at the very I don't know complex idea during these two weeks, but I'm really sure that we could work on a on a sketch that will I don't know look like the end product. But what I would like to ask you now is. Uh, what is your goal so that people enroll to your course or so that people uh, buy a book or what? Is yeah, so that people are interested in the product. And do what? Uh, buy it. Okay, because it's important, right? Interested? Okay, I'm interested, but I look at it once and then I do nothing. Okay, so it's important that you mention that you want people to buy this, right? And what I have it, two, uh, two focus. So on the one hand, this is right the economical foca focus, but the other one is that I would like people to realize the importance of raising cultural awareness, the importance of understanding the otherness in our interlocutors. Okay. So uh, I would like to make this connection. Um, mm -hmm. It's not just you know a study guide about culture, just reading some information about America or British. Uh, um great britain but the idea is to understand that the what makes them different uh, um, at the same time uh, makes them closer to us yes because we are also perceived as different yes. by other cultures so how to overcome this yes so i want to make this i don't know how to make it maybe i'm not that coherent at present but what is going on in my head is this idea to yes uh, okay and uh, what about the target audience? Uh, teachers of English and students who study English. Okay, good. And uh, yeah, okay. Then the message, if the if the, your goal is to that people buy this, um, you can think about a message so that it doesn't appear really I don't know forced by 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 but so that people understand that this is the yeah. purpose of it and so that it can also be included in the video right in some form or the other maybe as a text at the end or maybe with information where people can buy it where people can order it or how much does it cost you know things like that it's don't be shy to use this information it's really important I'm sure. No, actually, lot... I'm shy, shy about this. And I think yes, that but... the, the main question the video introduction video should answer is why we should buy it. Yeah. Natalia, okay. I will think about it. Why you should yeah. buy that book? <laughs> why? <laughs> yeah. No, the purpose is always uh, uh, in every just in every act of communication we have a, an intention, and if there is no intention beneath, then uh, there is no. And absolutely, I do agree with you. Why always should be the first question people should find an answer to? Mm -hmm. Why do I need it? There are so many, right? Yeah, Why do I need this one? Exactly. And in marketing, we talk about the unique selling point. This means, okay, there. when I go to the supermarket, I see 20 types of juice or 30 types of chocolates. I can buy, I don't know how many mobile phones, right? There are a lot of brands, but why should I buy this product related to your course? There are a lot of online classes and books and webinars. Why should I choose yours, you know? And this is what makes your product or your service different compared to others. So what is, what is it special about? Is it something unique? Is it cheaper? Is it more accessible? Is it a product that is faster? Is it, I don't know, it has to be, you know, your, this, your advantage. This is a, the unique selling point. Let's uh, see what uh, Eugenia uh, showed us here. May, you, you can share it if you want yourself you want to share it eugenia or should we share it your link here for youtube i don't know if she if you can hear us i can share the video if, if you like 
one moment. Let's prepare the screen. Ah, okay. Uh, then I'll share it for you, no problem. So let's see what Eugenia wants to share with us. Yes, it's, it's really, yes. Oh, sorry, <laughs> a new video started. Yeah, we're all uh, confronted now with this uh, situation. I, I think it's a really powerful video, how you chose the images and how you put the sound on it. And it's really, yeah, it gives us to think. <laughs> um, yeah, the, the only advice that I, would like to, to give to you, Eugenia, and all of you who think um, about making videos with uh, static images, slideshows, with photos, is to think about the duration. No problem, sure. Okay, Natalia. Uh, so um, there is a different kind of perception if we see moving images and if we see photos. 
So it's a thing in our brain that we see, it's, it's the same if we look at images with sound and without sound. It's an alteration of the perception of the duration. You get the impression that it's longer, shorter, but it's not. So you should try this experiment to see um, maybe fragments of uh, films or something with sound and without sound. And you see, you have the impression that they last longer without sound. And with sound, they, that they last shorter. It's the same with, with uh, photos. At some point, you think that, oh, it's too long if, if they're only um, static uh, images. The other thing is that I, re I, I realized that at the end, maybe the last second, the last images were a little bit faster because also of the crossfade between the images. And I couldn't really see all the details the way I maybe wanted to see them. And I don't know, get in this mood and think about Corona and the consequences on our society and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, because this crossfade um, is also something that you, you'll be able to experiment when you'll edit your videos in Premiere. If I do a direct cut, shot A, shot B, both are three seconds, three seconds, it's something. But if I make a crossfade between them, they're not three seconds anymore. So maybe they're one and one and a half second, one and a half second, and the other one and a half second is, I don't know, a merge, something merged between them, you know? So it's, it also alters the, the perception, but I think it's really nice. And my advice is, is when you have a, a powerful idea, um, okay, it's good to reinforce it. It's good to reinforce it so that people understand that it's a really important topic. But at some point, you, sh you again sh should do this exercise. When is enough? Maybe people understood, got the idea. So maybe less is more. Maybe one video that is one and a half minutes strong and powerful is better than a longer one on the same idea. We live in a, well, in, in a time where people are really invaded by video and ads and people really unfortunately don't have time to watch it. And this will affect your um, videos if you post them online. If you post too long videos and people aren't attracted by the content, maybe if it's a great content, but people, we're, we're, we lack of patience uh, lately in the last years because the information comes to us so fast and come on, let's admit it. We, we don't watch all the videos online until the end. We watch the beginning, maybe we scroll a little bit and then we, we close it. We move to another video. But this affects your marketing strategy. If you put money to promote your videos and if people don't watch longer videos until the end, it's not so good you know, for your content. So think about making the information concise and uh, to the point. And if people understood the idea, it's enough. Don't make it longer than necessary. You know, this is uh, this is my advice. If our target is the younger generation, then uh, the video, the maximum size of the video probably should be even one minute because uh, 59 seconds is the amount of, uh, let's say, length on Instagram. But then there's TikTok and the younger generation yes. is the TikTok yes. generation. And yes. the, sh the videos are even shorter. And we yes. shall think in terms of how to grasp the attention with it, that little amount of time that we have at the disposal. Yeah. yeah. So two things are coming now into my mind. First, you see, because of these new platforms, you see that people... Uh, really don't have patience and really force you to, to make shorter videos, but it's also challenging because, okay, to get to do a very inspirational and powerful and funny and engaging video in 15 seconds or 30 seconds, it's not so easy. So this is the challenge, right? So uh, should we also watch your video, Gohar? Do you want to share it yourself? No, you can just uh, okay. do it uh, if you have time, like yeah. if, if they prefer. This is the video that about, uh, about which I was talking. 
so ah, okay. about the upbringing and there is a special technique and i think uh, that the words that were written uh, the the important words uh, i think this is a nice technique and i like also his artistic skills uh, how he um, how he presents the uh -huh. content okay uh, I think I, I see it's a longer video, so maybe we won't share it uh, yeah. now entirely. Mm -hmm. Okay. But uh, we can watch. We can watch it. Yes, later, just for you. Okay, yes. And Victoria, I saw you raise your hand. Uh, do you want it to say something or maybe it's there by mistake? Sorry, it's mistake. I, I, ah, I, did, okay. not, I did not touch to the... To the... <laughs> no problem. Sorry. No problem. So I would really like you all to try to do something in these days that we'll have this module together. Don't be, I don't know, don't be bothered by the fact that maybe you, as I said again, that you don't have a really expensive equipment or you can do something creative with your phone. It's good to practice. Of course, I will not force you to do the video. You can also participate and listen and see what others did because I'm sure some of them will really do a video in these days, during these days together. But it's better also for you to try because now it's the time to, to experiment, to maybe make something wrong and get feedback from me and from the others because I really want you also to, to share your feedback to your colleagues. I think it's important. I'm not right, uh, God that tells you it's good or it's, or it's wrong. You make movies for many people. You make movies for students, for a big audience. So you need to learn the feedback from more people, you know? So I think it's important to, to try to do something, to experiment, to try to shoot something, to try to edit it, to put some sounds, to put some effects. I really, I really would like to, to work with this, uh, with you during the next days. So think about uh, what you really wanna wanna do, what you really wanna film, and we'll uh, we'll see how to make it better. <laughs> mm -hmm. So if I'm looking now at the schedule, let's uh, let's see. Um, Today you'll get the video with the pre-production so that you'll understand what the phase of pre-production uh, consists of. I don't know if you, if you looked at the video from yesterday with the introduction and the uh, developing phase. This is the first phase. Now we're in the pre-production phase. And tomorrow we won't see each other on Zoom, but tomorrow you'll have access to four videos regarding cinematic language. So you learn how, where to put the camera, if you move the camera, if you make it static, mm -hmm. um, what elements the, sound, the soundtrack has, how you see the person in the frame closer or wider. So it's really important, it's not random. We don't choose these randomly. Oh, let's put the camera there and let's start shooting. No, it, everything has to be well thought and uh, prepared. So I'm looking forward to hearing your questions regarding the videos that you'll watch and ask me if something isn't clear or maybe more examples. <laughs> or I don't know what to, what to say anymore. If some of you wants to discuss or to ask something. <laughs> if everything is clear then you you'll have access to the videos on the platform and we'll see each other on uh, thursday oh video created by me <laughs> i i made a lot of videos so i, I maybe uh, next time i i can choose something but i i worked on so many different types of videos i worked on feature films short films uh, presentation clips, experimental videos, uh, commercials, uh, animations, uh, I don't know, everything. Uh, fashion clips. <laughs> so <laughs> so I, don't, I don't know if it's relevant to show you one example from my work because I, yeah, <laughs> I'm really for, 
for many years in, in this uh, in this field so yeah it depends but it's not it's not a recipe you know it, it depends on what you want to create if it's a commercial product okay the same the basic cinematic language principles uh, apply also there but it's a different message it's you want to sell something in in a feature film in a in a short film in a fiction film you have a story it's a fictional thing so it's really it's really different it's really complicated to but i have a facebook page if you want to check it out it contains my name laura lazarescu ppa there i uploaded some videos that i worked on some edits some commercial work of course none of the the short films and feature films because i'm not allowed to put them on facebook but <laughs> well yeah i didn't expect that it's, it's nice that you asked Yeah, so if you want to ask something else, if not, then we'll see each other the next time. Okay, so I wish you a great day and uh, inspiration. Viorica, please, you wanted to, to... No, I wanted to say thank you for the feedback. Thank you uh, welcome. For, uh, to our colleagues who shared also their videos. We, we can learn together from one another's experience. And um, I'm looking forward to what will, uh, let's say, result, mm -hmm. uh, what kind yes. of product I will be able to produce at the end. I'm mm -hmm. challenged, for example. <laughs> yes, yes, it will be, it will be definitely nice. Uh, Raluca, uh, if you're there, uh, someone uh, asks here yeah, now, yeah. Olga. Yes, Olga asks, um, where to upload the video for review. So I don't know what to answer to, <laughs> to this question. You have to register for the film module and then uh, the assignment uh, where you put all the homework for uh, last, uh, last modules, <clears throat> you can share there the, the link. And uh, don't forget to give us access. Yes, to, I uh, uh, registered, yes. Uh -huh. So they are where yeah, you yeah, I understand. all the time where you, you uploaded your homework. But don't forget, please, or to, to all the participants, don't forget to, to make the link uh, shareable and uh, so Laura can have the access to, to it. Yes. The Google Drive link, yeah. Because the materials will be uploaded in Google Drive and then uh, you will have the share uh, on the platform so the platform mm -hmm. can accept the material the whole material only the the link for the drive and uh, i have a, a question related because i have checked i have enrolled and uh, uh, at present uh, we cannot upload anything there yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, this is what i'm talking about ah, um, okay i will i, will I didn't that. find no. where to Put this link. I found the topics, I found videos, but uh, I didn't find where to put the link. So in the maybe past you can we demonstrate had, or something. Yes, we had here, for example, where we um, could upload our videos uh, with the task. It was called quiz, right? Yeah. Uh, and yeah. now we don't have where to upload the links. Yeah, that's right. Okay, probably because on the on the agenda on the agenda the uploaded uh, homework were on Wednesday, so maybe that's the reason the, the technical department saw there, and maybe that's the reason. But I will uh, I will talk with Elena in, uh, today, and I will contact the IT department for the platform. I will let them know today. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Nothing. Thank you. Great. Then have a great day, and I'm looking forward to reading your uh, your ideas and your scripts, and then to start shooting. Right. <laughs> Get in the more practical part of uh, filmmaking, okay. video production. Thank Good. you, and have a nice day, everybody. See you. Thank Bye. you. Bye. You See you soon. Thank you. Bye. Bye.